Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another automotive adventure. I'm the Auto Adventurer, and today you join me here at Ferrari of Washington, where they're going to be hosting their first Supercar Saturday event of the year. Uh, just like the one in the Philly, it's a monthly show once a month that they host. And usually a good turnout here at this one as well. The weather is a little cloudy, but we're still expecting some good turnout. But there's still plenty of good cars in the showroom if, if there's not that much out here. So it's going to be another great adventure. Let's get to it. Uh, we are here a little early. We wanted to get, get a good spot before the cars roll in. This lot does fill up very quickly once the show gets started. We got a nice 296 GTV uh, for your auto package over there. That's the test drive car. Like I said earlier, plenty of nice cars in the, in the actual showroom. We'll get in there when the showroom actually opens up. First car showing up right now is the R8. Audi R8, nice Gen 1 with the gold Rohana wheels on it. So with a slight change of plans, they had to move some of the cars because parking over there is reserved for Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and the higher end exotics, mainly the Ferraris. But we can take a better look at this R8 with the carbon hood, carbon side blades, and again, these nice gold Rohana wheels. And of course, V10. Right next to it, another bargain supercar, the AMG GT. Two cool ways to get into the exotic car market, if you can see the uh, air quotations there. But in my opinion, both good bang for your buck cars. The showroom is now open, so we can take a look at some of the fantastic examples of Ferraris that they have here in the showroom. A12s, F8s, Romas, SF90s, F430s, Spiders, Coupes. I want to take a minute to point out this specific Roma. It looks just like a regular metallic black Roma, but you can actually see the paint is more of like a metallic brown. And the reason for this is that this is a uh, one of one inspiration series car. It's kind of hard to see, you can see the plaque right there. It says inspired by warm nuances. So this has wood paneling instead of the carbon fiber that it normally has, the gold piping around it, and the gold stripes on the seat. All this completely bespoke from Ferrari. They spec'd it out themselves. It wasn't the it wasn't the client specification. This car is all spec from Ferrari, you can't change anything on it. You can even see the sort of gold, gold tinted exhaust, carbon diffuser. There's a better look at that brown metallic paint, the diamond cut wheels. Everything is normally left as plastic as you can see on that one there is from factory carbon fiber. So they make one inspiration series for each model. This is the only Roma that I know of in this model. Very nice, very nice, very exclusive spec. And the dealerships have to be selected to receive one of these cars. Continuing on, we got some more Ferraris here. There's a nice blue 48 Spider with a nice dark charcoal interior, blue accents. Next to it, we have a very metallic Nero F8 Spider. Actually, it's a coupe with the painted shield options. Very nice to see. And painted shields. Very expensive option. The leather Alcantara seats. Leather Alcantara condo seats, I should say. And interesting to see the matte carbon. The matte carbon that actually has on the interior. Now, F8 Tributo, of course, stands for tribute. And this is one of the big tributes on it. The plexiglass window that's supposed to represent slash pay homage to the Ferrari F40, which also has those slats, those slits in the, in the actual plexiglass window itself. Uh, and I believe, I don't know what other tributes there are, but that's the one that's always brought up is the, is the rear window. And I love these torqued, these twisted five spoke wheels that all Ferraris have. Look at that paint, the way it just shines. Going complimenting with that Alcantara and leather combo. Beautiful car. Please get back to these models over here. Moving on from the blue F48 Spider, we have a nice red over red and black interior 458 Italian Spider, a Mac Grigio Spider, and behind it, the F12 Berlinetta. The Ferrari V12 Supercar, the Grand Touring Beast. 
and looking excellent in the Nero over Nero. So we'll go back in there a little bit, maybe take a look, another look at some of those cars. I didn't look at all of them, but we finally have some Ferrari showing up here. The silver 458 Spider, a white SF90, um, SF and this, an F430 Scuderia, one of 499, the ultimate version of the F430, completely stripped out interior, driver focused to the back, carbon engine bay, yellow Testarossa. We'll get back to this in a minute as this is rolling in this Heritage Edition SF90 Spider. The red with the red accents, 75th anniversary. Cavallino in Italy, I believe that's what it was, was homaging to. Lovely seeing the Scuderia here, that 75th anniversary, our homage SF90 Spider. We have Volk here in his amazing A12 Super Fast, the one with the Novatech body kit and the bricks and forged wheels. Sounding amazing with that aftermarket exhaust. We have another F12 Berlinetta here. Again, my favorite front engine V12 Ferrari. The lines that this car, it looks sculpted rather than built. The yellow Testarossa. Cool cars are starting to finally come out. This is amazing. I'm gonna actually check to see if this is a TR at Testarossa because they look very similar. And if you're like me, you don't really know the exact differences from a, from a glance. But yes, here's a Testarossa. So amazing to see one in yellow, not red. Uh, not to say the Ferraris don't look good in red, of course, but to see one in a different color, something more unique is amazing. I've seen them in black, I've seen them in white. I've never seen a yellow one before and it's so cool to see yellow. Yellow is probably my second favorite Ferrari color besides green. Nice. And the Ferraris keep on rolling in. We got another H12 Super Fast here. This one stock from factory. In terms of no body kit. Nice aftermarket wheels with lowered probably on Novatech spring. Definitely not stock on the exhaust. Taking a break from all the Ferraris outside, we'll come to the sister brand, Maserati. But we have not one, but not two, but we have three Maserati MC20s here. The new supercar, bringing Maserati back to the performance-focused models, back to their racing heritage. With the twin turbo V6, the dubbed the Neptuno V6, Maserati MC20 is truly truly a supercar in terms of looks and in performance. And this one here, obviously my favorite, this crystal cherry red with the black interior, black Alcantara with carbon, the red stitching accents, the MC20 badging there, all the carbon accents here on the door sill. You can see the forged carbon that's used for the tub. Just the attention to detail on these cars, the carbon spoiler, even to the window where you have the slats designed to be the Trident. What's cool is that this one, this one though has the matte black ground effects kit. These two over here have the carbon options. So the carbon on the diffusers, the splitters, the skirts, the roof line. And this one here, the Opaco pearl white with This is the launch spec of the car, and very beautiful looking, indeed. So, cool cars keep on coming, as it always is with these shows, the best part about those shows. So our latest arrival here, a 992 GT3 in the PTS Acid Green. Low carbon on this car, but it's a driver. Talked to the owner before, he plans on putting so many miles on this car, so, it would make sense you won't you wouldn't want too much carbon with the risk of it getting damaged. And I just noticed right next to this acid green we have a white 992 GT3. These two looking spectacular together. This one's the window down, we can see the interior. The touring seats, they neither one had the carbon bucket seats, but you can see the nice carbon carbon accented interior. This guy with the six-speed manual, 
Alcantara wrap steering wheel and the center clock to match the red striping or the red accents on this on this car. Even on the wing, the GT3 in red, amazing. I like the license plate, love 9000 RPM, which I would too. This car sounds amazing at that level. Being a fan of the green though, this is the car that I'd be going with. Green stitch interior, hard to see. Even the clock is green. This one in the PDK Auto, obviously not not as fun as the as the six-speed manual, but still quite a magnificent car. I gotta talk about it once again. Just the sheer beauty of the F12 Bravonetta. I was talking to some people over there, but how I view it compared to the A12s. Again, both are great cars. It's just something about the Pininfarina design that just has more like emotion behind it. There's just something sculpturesque about the F12 Berlinetta. Did not expect to see one of these here. Matte blue DBS Super Ligera. by Matt, our Aston Martin representative. Nice. That matte blue looks gorgeous with the yellow accents. Amazing. Even more, even more goodies in the back. Lava orange GT3 RS, dark blue GTR, the blue Mila Pearl Ventador S Roadster, Ferrari California, more R8s. The car I've been waiting to see for a while. My buddy Zane just recently purchased this matte yellow R8 with this nice silver interior on the Vossen wheels. Been waiting to see this car ever since he told me he was getting it. It's awesome to see it in the flesh now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Great. Oof, that would have been bad. Don't want to ruin such a beautiful car. Now it all this is gloss yellow underneath. It does have a matte PPF. The interior is full matte carbon, which is interesting because I don't remember there being a matte carbon option for the R8, which was really nice. That V10 idling. Hope to be shooting a video with this in the future. He also has a beautiful Sebring orange C8 hardtop convertible as well. So we have a lemon and orange juice uh, combo. Hopefully we'll be doing a video with that very soon. that beautiful v10 we're actually gonna get a chance to sit in this car and take a look at the interior very unique having the gray the gray leather but i, I think it really complements the yellow and this beautiful steering wheel the matte carbon here the yellow 12 o'clock stripe flat bottom all the buttons very driver focused but elegant at the same time everything Everything is, um, what's the word, put on this display. So you have no need for a central display. Everything can come up here. Your Apple Maps, Apple CarPlay, all that. It's, again, attention to detail. Double quilt, diamond stitch roof, the diamond stitch on the seats. Bang and Austin speakers. An amazing car. How's it feel to drive? Amazing, right? Amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Motor of these cars will be on shorts or my Instagram if you want to get a better look at them. We're actually going to be heading to another show that's happening just down the road. A lot of these guys, a lot of these cars here are going to be cruising down there. So try to cruise with them, get to the next spot. Hopefully more cars show up and we're going to try and keep these good times rolling. <laughs>
Detroit Supercars behind us. When they get a chance to pass, I'll let, them, I'll let you guys see that. destination now you're gonna forgive me for this it's not nothing to do with photography that's my sunshade I tried to open up when we were when we were having our fun out there hope you guys enjoyed that little bit I know I certainly did <laughs> and we got a lot of cool cars in front of us now it's gonna be a great second show Fantastic drive from the Ferrari show to this other show here in Loudoun. So far already a lot more cars here to, that have joined us. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cruise, impromptu cruise. Uh, a lot of loud noises, a lot of a lot of fun. So time to enjoy this show, see what shows up, maybe get some lunch, and just enjoy the rest of the day. The infamous ghost ship. Can't even really call it a truck, this is a building. Ferraris. We've got quite the lineup here of supercars. The Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, the Porsches, the Audis, the Mercedes. This thing, you name it, it's most likely here. Only thing that could make this better was a hypercar appearance. So the main show is back there. We've got a couple nice cars here, the Isle of Man, green M3, another one in like a nice gray, black, yellow Supra, a couple M4s, a nice rapid blue C8 with the tension twilight blue interior. This bag Mercedes, this is cool, check this out. The BBS wheels, air suspension, look at that interior. Pristine, this is cool. Got the C8 and more M3s, nice classic Carrera. Next to the 997. And there's more cars over there too, G-Wagons, Lightning, CTRs, Corvettes. Now this is really cool. You know I love my Ferraris and I love the color green. So this car sits near and dear to me, a green, British racing green GTC for Lusso. And this one is not a Lusso T, this one has the V12. And the gold wheels, the gold accents, the tan interior with all the carbon driver consoles and all that stuff. Truly amazing, I love this color combo. Even the gold badges. This is so cool. Such a cool color combo. Oh man, I can't get enough of this. Check out this modified Camaro. Star Wars theme, pro charged. <laughs> Digital dashboard with a TIE Fighter in the back. Talk about a Russo mod. Another C8, this one in the Accelerate Yellow, with black racing stripes, the Trident wheels. 
it is one LT, but it's still pretty nice. 2023 model. More Supras. Very tight and narrow to get through here. First McLaren of the day. This nice navy blue 570S Spider. Looking pretty good. This is a car you can't beat, a twin turbo V8. And the Spider, you can hear everything behind you. This is not a bad car for the price that they go for. Let's talk about last minute arrivals. Nice red 570S Spider with the red interior. Man, I love these cars. Scissor doors, forced induction, and a removal. What, can, what, what can't you beat about that? Well, the car show has come, come down to an end. Most people have already left or are getting ready to leave. Wasn't as big of a show as some of the other stuff we've been to. Gotta blame the weather for that one. But I still think it made for a good day, a lot of fun. Still pretty good car show overall. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it wasn't as big as all the other videos, but more of those, more of those big videos to come as the weather gets nicer here in the summer. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you on the next automotive adventure.